I have spent way too much time on my bed with my laptop this year. But welcome to my year in rewind video or year to come video. I'm trying to do something different here. <laughs> This video. So, 2016 has been the greatest year of my entire life. But if I tell the story of 2016, I have to start way back in 2015. 2016's warm up and 2017, it's go time. A little later in Jan, I surprised my parents for the anniversary. It sounds super cool. At the Westin, my parents' 26th anniversary. Detoxifying my menu card. I'm baking them a cake, a brownie type cake thing, and aka. Okay, there you February, my dog had a Valentine, but I didn't. That was kind of sad. It is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I have no plans for Valentine's Day. My dog has a date though. Ah, but at the same time, I made a film called Do Something You Hate on Valentine's Day. It was about, about doing things you hate to get to places that you want to be. That made me really happy. I hate running. I then went on to studying for my 12th grade exams. Celebrating my 100th vlog with a film which I don't know how I feel about anymore. It's 3 a.m. I've been vlogging for a hundred days now. And then went down to fail the 12th grade. But that's alright, isn't it? And the rest of the year was simple. I went down to visit Vietnam and Thailand and Malaysia and the US. I met Casey Nice and I met Gary V. My booster board finally came. I started a business called Wilfred. I started a business called AV. I started a business called uh, Main Street. I joined a car company called The Driver's Hub. I drove a, cool, a few cool fancy cars. I left them. I went on to do a ton of stuff. 2017 was amazing. But, so I'm not gonna do a basic as 2017 rewind because it's not much worth rewinding technically. It doesn't quantify that much. So, I'm gonna do a 2018 year ahead. So, moving forward, let's talk about all that's gonna happen in 2018. Well, for starters, I need to fix my workflow. 2017 taught me how to work, and I need to learn how to do it in time with a balanced sleep schedule and with my health and fitness. Among other things, we invested in a restaurant and uh, looking forward to 2018, we're hoping to expand that and get like a franchise model take off for it. That's where I'm going for lunch right now. It's still tastings and we're having like a celebratory thing just pre-launch. It's on the third floor in Phoenix Market City, up there, the new floor with all the cool new restaurants. Oh, the food is splendid! I don't want to be on the brand, but the chef is outdone himself. Okay, your tasting got done. I'm now heading back home. A little bit of shopping on the way out. But let's talk uh, 2018 goals with respect to a few other things I've been doing. Uh, the house is looking super dramatic with lighting around now. Also, this year, an addition to the family was little Mia over here and Biscuit in the back disapproving. The thing with cats is they have no sort of uh, sentiment whatsoever as I have found 
Or at least toward me, I don't know, this cat just hates me. But this little Mia over here. And this is Biscuit. This is the family. Anyway, we're done. Uh, moving on. This year, 2017 was different. For me, it was my first year not an educational institution. My first year going all out, free to conquer the world. And I thought I would do it all in a month. But I learned about how well things do move and how to do things in the real world and I learned a lot and, and I learned how much time things take and the whole human error element that delays things. With 2018, I want to use everything that I've learned and put it to use. I want every single business to properly explore the way it's supposed to but I've realized that uh, the glamour is a very small part of it and all the hard work that goes behind it is what really counts in terms of building a business. So this year is going to be all about project report, revenue predictions and generating, having everything down on paper with a proper business model verified and everything of that sort. That's basically what this year is going to be about. It's going to be learning how to do all that and doing all of it properly. It's about getting licenses and, and, and <laughs> registering everything and, and doing all of that by the book. That is what this year is going to be about. Live. More than anything, this year is going to be all about fixing that little bit of error that comes with human efficiency. It's about really getting down. See, the thing is that in 24 hours, I can't do everything. But it's really hard to do it because... Oh, well, <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lazy as hell. So getting over that is what this year is going to be about. Learning how to work was one end of it. Now, using all of that and... I guess I'm talking too much. Let's talk uh, object based. I started a business called Wilfred, which this year is going to produce a talk show. I shot the first episode, turned out really nice. I saw the potential in terms of revenue, in terms of uh, networking deals. There's a ton of stuff that can happen with this. This year is going to be about getting that done step by step, getting an office to work with a ton of people, and moving forward and getting that picked up. I started a business called AV Enterprise, my friend Adnan. We sell products. We find gaps with products in the country, we import them and we sell them here after generating awareness about them and marketing them and stuff like that. This year is about sitting down and doing that on a daily basis, so getting a team of people to do the correct things the correct way, getting the, the correct licenses for the imports and exports and all of that and, and selling a hundred thousand of these masks. I started a company called Main Street with my friends Kush and Ikram. Main Street is about growing street fashion culture in India. Tonight's New Year's Eve, everybody's going to be dressing up. They're going to be wearing their trousers, they're going to be wearing shirts, they're going to be wearing scarves and blazers and whatnot. I bought a pair of baggy pants from Adidas. The point is, people are... The idea with Main Street is that people are willing to spend 30, 40, 50,000 rupees on, on, the, on the fanciest Ferragamo loafers or a pair of Gucci Princeton loafers and whatnot, but, but they wouldn't do that on a hoodie. And, and the thing is that moving forward fashion-wise, this trend is dying. Hackett polos and Hermes belts are dying. We want to fix that, we want to bridge the gap that India has with the rest of the world. Japan and Europe, Southeast Asia except India. I mean Bangkok, Hong Kong, Beijing, Shanghai, uh, Tokyo, LA, New York, Milan. Fashion the world over is picked up with, this, with these trends. But India is lagging behind. That's not okay. As much as it sucks. The gap is something that I always appreciate because it's something that I can capitalize on. That's what Main Street is going to do. Kush, Ikram and I are going to grow the culture here. We're going to help cultivate uh, brands here. We're going to help cultivate marketplaces. We're going to help grow the resale market here. We want to build the, the culture of exclusivity in this country. That's what we're going to do through 2017. And uh, more than anything, Daily vlogging is, has to get better. My content is going to be more business based than it is now. It's going to be all about work. It's going to be all about growth and in a fun way. The thing is that I love all of the work that I do. It makes nothing gets me off like working. I don't I I don't look down on any of it, but I don't smoke or drink. I've never I mean never wanted enough felt the curiosity to try it. I don't want to try it because I'll be doing it. That's all because I don't trust myself, honestly. I'm an obsessive person. So I like to keep obsessions that I can afford. And my work makes me so goddamn happy, it's not even funny. So this year is going to be all about building that up. And uh, I'm hoping that this channel is going to explode this year. I'm allowed to dream. And for those of you who've been here for the past year, thank you all so much. I love each and every one of you. I know almost all of your names. It's kind of sad for a YouTube channel, but I totally appreciate it. Even though it's not that much on YouTube, it means so much to me that on a daily basis, almost 500 people tune in to see what I've done in my day. Why would you want to see that? Why would anybody want to see that? I don't know, but you guys do, and that makes me so happy. 
So thank you all so much for doing this. And hopefully we can all grow together this year. That's about it. Well, now, now that I on my year plans and all this work that I aimed at, uh, email me if you're interested in helping out any of those. I'm taking as many people as I can on board. So if you have, if you have a skill set that I could use or that any of these projects could use, hit me up. We can all grow together. And aside from that, subscribe, stay tuned. Things about to take off, guys. Everything's going well. And that has been my year to, uh, that has been my year gone by and my year to come. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.